Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete some of the validation, right? So from here, right now we check that validation and after that I want to do and to insert this category data in our this database table. So how can do that work in this video? I will show you that things with a live example. And as I told you friend, in uh, they have the two different way you can actually insert this data. You can use that um, eloquent ORM. You can also do that work with the query builder. I will show you both of this way and also into the eloquent quorum they have the two different type you can actually use so i share all the things with you which things you are like you can take it okay so like first of all i want to insert this data so here i have already added that our field name so that is our field name and that is our i have already created this method that is our method name as a add card method and into the add card method that is started from here and ended so in particular this function area that means this method area we have to work right so first of all it should be check that validation and when it should be done after that validation i want to insert this data so if you want to insert it with using that eloquent ORM, first of all you have to add your model name so i name it as a i have already created our model name as a category uh there is a model and a model name as a category right so now i name it as a category so category model and into the category model i want to do and to insert it so i want to insert so here i want to insert it okay and after that the third bracket and here you have to add the semicolon and now i want to do i want to add our all that field okay i have to add that field and this field that means in which area you want to insert so that is the, our category name so here that is our database category table into the category field area you have to add it so now i name it our database field so into the database field here i want to do and to pass our requested data okay that means here i have already take that request so this request data and that means if you go to our input field so from here that means there that is our input field right so that is the from here i, I want to actually pass out the request data that means if you go to a site so whatever the things you will put on here and after that you add that add category right so this request so this request field data uh, that is actually the category name so now i want to do i also want to take it so it will be request so with this request it will be display or this request data this request field name as a category name right friend and also if you want to display as a user id that means if you want to insert that our user id data so here you can also insert it so this user id data means they have you have to do you have to actually create that relation i will show you that things later that is our user table into the user table they have actually that id so it should be match uh, with our this user id data okay and that means that it will be as one of the foreign key i will discuss about that things later so right now i only want to do which user is already logged in so this user id will be saved okay so if you want to save it then first of all here you have to add that our database field name our database field name i name it as the user id i copy it that will be as a user id and after that here i want to do i want to add it so it will be as a our auth auth means with this logging user right so with user user is already logging so this authenticated user that is a default one this authenticated user um i want to do I want to access one of the field as an id field okay as i told you friend so that is the id id i want to take so automatically it should be saved this id that means it should be go to our user into the user which user is already logged in this user this id i want to take okay so that's all you have to do so now i take it so that will be our authenticated user uh, and this that is our id field and also after that i want to do and to add another field better uh, if you go to our categories there is another field as a created that i also want to insert that created that data so that is our created ad and into the created ad here i want to do i want to it should be actually default one so you are here i want to use that with the carbon okay carbon with this carbon it should be change the date format which i have already discussed about that things with you so that is a carbon and then one of the now method okay so that is a default one so here you have to do you have to add it and make the sure you are here you don't need to use that any semicolon so perfect so that's all you have to do friend okay 
so that is our insert this data so automatically now it should be inserted so here i have used that auth i have used that category so here also we have to add both of these that means here we have to do you have to use it right so if you want to use it um, first of all there first of all better i want to first of use our um, category because i also use that our model so if you want to use that model so that is in our use and then the app and then the black slash our models folder in front of the models folder i want to use that category this is category right that will be our category model that means the app and then the models and then that is our category perfect and after that i also want to use that our um, auth that means use and then auth i want to use that auth that means authenticated and also i want to use our carbon so that is in on our illuminate eliminate okay illuminate it's not giving you any references so illuminate is in our illuminate and then the support or the support and then the carbon okay make that sure you add it so that is the illuminate and the support and then the carbon perfect so that is actually the appropriate location so i have used that um, carbon i have used that auth i have used that category so you can see there is a category use that auth and the carbon perfect so now if you click as a save all i click as a save all now let's check this out okay so now let's check this out our this uh you can do is perfectly working or not now go your site now refresh it so if you get any error don't worry about it we will solve it okay so first of all i'll check that validation yeah our validation is perfectly working now i make it as one of the category name as a c fish click as the add category it's now showing as a class app model <laughs> you can see there is a folder name is mistake it should be as a models not the model uh, you can see that is actually the models not the model so here i'm using as a model it will be as a models that means the models models right perfect i click as a save all check it again go back refresh it uh, check it is data is inserted it or not no and now first of all i'll check that validation perfectly getting that validation i add that c fish click as the add category yes you can see they have no error that means right now it's perfectly redacted to our category app page and now if you go here click as a browse yes you can see friend right now i'm locking with our user id one that means i am locking with the admin right that means the kazi for the reasons that is actually showing our user id one that is our category name is visible and also it's now created that created ad perfect and also if you go back and you can see right now i'm already logging with the kazi so for the kazi if you go if you go better i show you if you go to the profile you can see i'm logging with the kazi so if you go to and also my email address as a like admin at the gmail.com if you go to that our user into the user you can see there's a kazi admin that means the email as a admin at the gmail.com so user id as a one so for the reasons it's actually getting that perfectly that means user id one actually created this category so now i also want to do and to add another one as all categories i want to add this omen category click as add category perfect browse it perfectly inserted that data and also i want to add another one click as add category a man's item click as add category refresh it yeah that is a man's item perfect so here we successfully insert this data i hope you like it very much so that is one one process okay that is a you look into what i'm one process i also want to share with you another way that you can actually use it with using that you look into what i'm so here you have to do better i want to make it as a comment out i make it as a comment out and also there is another way i want to show like here i take one of the variable as a category okay category and then we have to create one of the object we have to create one of the new object sorry we have to create one of the new object and new object for the, our category model category model so i name it our category model 
okay friend and after that here you have to do you have to with this category category so with this category you have to do you have to add your all that uh, requested field name so here with this category i want to access our database field name our database field name as a category name i name it as a category name so it should be matched with our this same as a requested that means the requested category name okay so that's the things you have to do and also after that i want to do i want to add another one so it should be just like that same better i copy it so with this category i want to use that our this field as a user id and this user id will be just like that same it should be just like that same as the authenticated user id okay it should be save this part and also after that i want to do i want to add our hmm, here i want to add as a, again as a save that means i want to save this data so i want to add this category so with this category i want to do i want to save this data okay so here you have to do you have to add as a save perfect so that is actually our another format okay friends so with this it also should be inside this data it should be inside this our category name it should be inside our user id name and after that it should be save this data so now let's check this out it's perfectly working or not and that is our model as a category model i have also already loaded our this model okay so if you use the dlocurrent orm then you have to actually work with this model so now if you click as a save all now i want to do i want to insert it again go back now refresh it and now i want to do and to insert another one as a fish click as a add category yeah you can see it's perfectly inserted go to the category yes you can see it's not perfectly inserted as data as a user id one as a fish but here one thing you can see friend here when you actually use this way that means that, that with the, this format as insert format here you have to insert this created at here right so here i have uh, manually add this field but when you use like that way here you don't need to use that created field automatically it should be uh, inserted that created data that means the created add date and the updated add date okay so that is very much interactive so i will prefer you to use this format so that is very much a professional format you can actually use okay but i share both of these which things you like you can actually choose it so right now when you insert it it's redacted to this area that means the category add right so now i want to do uh, i want to add uh, this type of one of the condition when it should be insert this data after that add category so it should be redacted to the same back page and it should be displayed on the message so if you want to do that work right now i want to do i want to make it as a comment out and also i want to open it okay i want to open it i want to use this one because i added this first time so now i want to do here after this that means when this data will be inserted okay after this here i want to do i want to return and the return and then the redirect that is another one as a return redirect so with this return redirect i want to it will be redacted to the back page that means when it should be successfully inserted it should be redacted to the back page okay and when it should be back then i want to do i want to show with some of the message so i added that with and with uh, some of the id i want to pass as a success okay so i want to add as a success and success which type of message you want to visible so here i want to do i want to display uh, some of the message as a category category inserted successfully so successfully so this type of one of the message it should be display so that is our success and that is id it should be displayed as a category inserted successfully perfect so now here if you want to display it i want to display it with using some of the bootstrap like if you go to that bootstrap official side and if you go to that component it is the component they have the alert uh, you can see that is actually the alert so now i want to do i want to use this type of one of the alert you can use it so all that ready-made code is on here mm, better i want to use this one okay this one actually great and also they have the close button so i want to copy this code I, that is a copy code and now i want to do i want to visible it um, here okay when it should be successfully done it should be display some of the message in particular that area so it should be redacted to the back page and with some of the success message 
so now go to our index page that means that will be our back page right so here here that is our terms and that is our first day so after this row okay after this row uh, that is our call eight so better into the call eight and that is our another one as a call card so before this head okay before this head here here i want to do i want to paste it so that will be our this alert alert will be visible okay so that will be our alert so here i don't want to display this one i remove it so here i want to display our this message which message actually i pass it so here we have to do we have to add this condition so first of all i want to do and to add this condition if if into the session okay into the session if into the session area there have any um success uh, id so i have already added one of the success id as a success so that will be the success so if there have any success message then it should be display this message and also we have to do we have to end it we have to end our this if condition that means the and if okay and now here i want to do i want to display our this message so with this success that means the session with into the session area i want to display our success message so that will be our success message perfect i hope friend everything is very much clear to you because of all into the success area i have already declared one of the message as a category inserted successfully right so now it should be display our this message so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now refresh it now i want to do and to add as a man's fashion click as a add category yes you can see it's now showing as a category inserted successfully and also there are the cross button if you click the cross then it should be removed okay so is our alert is perfectly working and better i want to do that is our alert one of the class as a alert alert warning i want to make it as a success so that is our another class as a success you can also use that danger for the deleting all that file you can use that info warning okay so now that is our success message so for the reasons here i use that success click the save all and now if you refresh it again now i want to use that hello click as the add category yes you can see it's now perfect it's now showing as a category inserted successful this type of one of the messages is visible and there is a cross button if you click as a cross it should be removed so friend i hope it's very much clear to you how can insert data with using that eloquent qrm and into the eloquent qrm i have already discussed both of this you can also use this one rather than you can also use this one everything will be just like that same so you know next video i want to do i want to insert the same data with using that um, query builder okay then uh, this concept i also want to share with you then everything will be very clear to you so how can insert this data with using that query builder in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video